Last weekend, I was at English Electric Motor Co. in Suffolk to test ride a bunch of their electric motorcycles. One of the bikes was this Sauron. It looks a bit like a mountain bike, but think of it as an electric to compete with 50 to 100cc dirt bikes. But it's actually road legal, so before I got stuck into the dirt track, I took it for a spin on the local lanes. All right, this is the Sauron. So, um, kind of like a mountain bike but with an electric motor and battery and no pedals. So it is kind of a motorbike. It has a license plate. It's got a headlight and tail light and uh, indicators and everything and switch gear, but it's very, very lightweight. And I'm gonna take it out on the dirt track in a bit, but it was just suggested to me to take it um, out on the road. I mean, look at it, there's nothing to it. So yeah, you could conceivably ride this on the road. I mean, it's a hard saddle. It's very much like a bicycle saddle, almost like a road bike. But you can get 30 miles an hour out of it and you can probably do a bit of trail riding and that kind of thing, so. I can see that there's a place for it, especially if you live out somewhere like this and you just want to go down the pub or wait no not down the pub down the shop and do it via a couple of trails and fields and stuff then why not how do i describe how this feels on the road it's like a bicycle you know it's got that kind of bicycle handling much more twitchy and agile than a motorcycle brakes are fine the power delivery isn't especially uh exhilarating especially because i've just been riding zeros Let's just keep the pit pinned up here. We're going slightly uphill. But I'm still getting 45 miles an hour out of it. 46. I mean, you're easy to get over 50 going downhill on this. Yeah, you've got, um, you know, eco mode and then sport mode here. There's not a great deal of difference between them. It's quite talky off the line, whichever mode it's in. And then it runs out a little bit once you get up to 30 miles an hour. Anyway, that was a fun little poodle up the lane, but I think trying it off-road might be where it's most at home. So I was a little underwhelmed on the road, especially having ridden the extremely torquey zero range for the rest of the day. But that's not where this bike performs best. It's not the most powerful, but its 47 kilogram weight gives it great response at low speed. And it has decent brakes, decent suspension, so it should be a blast on the dirt. Before I start though, can I just say I've never ever ridden on a track like this. I do all of my motorcycling on the road, mainly in London. So this is more of a beginner's impression than an expert off-road review. You can see that from how I was waddling around every corner and screaming over every mound. Truth be told, I was shitting myself the whole time. <laughs> I'm so terrible at riding off road. Whoa, this is so much fun. Right, let's keep up with him. Oh, the dust. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not sure this is a particularly insightful commentary. Uh, it's just me grunting and trying not to die. Oh my god, I'm so hot in this lid. I mean, this is loads of fun. I'd definitely have a go at this again. I think I need to get used to putting a foot out, like motocross style. Um, oh, this is a bit big. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going too quick now. My uh, confidence exceeding my ability, as they say. I'm definitely gonna come a cropper soon. This is where it gets loose. This is my second lap. This is where it gets sketchy. Oh. I then had a bit of a go on the much more powerful Zero FX, which was even more out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try the big one. Whoa, go on. Oh my God. And this one's quite steep as well. Hoi. Oh. Anyway, English Electric are saying they wanna get a kind of little fleet of bikes 
especially this little saurons here so that everyone can come and have a go and race them around and stuff oh it's so much fun and then when I swapped back onto the smaller Sauron, I was feeling confident and set off at a fair clip, assuming I'd easily be able to handle the smaller bike now. But I accidentally got about three centimeters of air on the first jump and almost stacked it. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Ah. So there we have it. This bike comes in at four grand for the off-road version and four and a half for the road going. It's probably perfect for someone who lives out in the sticks and wants something to zip around the lanes on and take on some trails. I absolutely love riding it on the dirt and that's probably the best endorsement I can give it. I had zero experience of riding like that, but I didn't crash. And in fact, I had an absolute blast doing it.